Good morning. Uh, thank you all very much for coming. Um, it's rather humbling and flattering to see so many of you here, but I guess uh, everybody has to attend a certain number of seminars, and this one's got two um, very important advantages. The first one you know about, which is that it's scheduled immediately after breakfast. Um, and the second is that, as you'll see, it's going to be m mercifully short. Um, the conclusions that I'm uh, going to reach about, uh, about uh, the different ways in which men and women are using uh, the Internet are, uh, are very tight and very easy to, uh, to communicate in, in a short time. So that's what I'm going to do. The World Wide Web, in truth, uh, should be renamed the World Wide Women's Web because uh, in both Europe and the US, uh, more women, there is more uh, usage of the internet by women than by men. In fact, even if you look at the picture globally, uh, there are more women using uh, the internet than men. 63% of all purchases made online are made by women. More women use email than men do. And the world of the web is really uh, uh, a perfect environment. Um, for communicating with and engaging with women, and something that I don't think has yet been fully exploited because I believe um, that it is a world that was fundamentally designed by and developed by men for men. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the uh, programming format, format What Not to Wear. Um, this is a great example of what not to do uh, when you're uh, trying to engage with women on the web. It's a site that uh, Dell created um, especially for women, which is why they called it Della. And um, why there's uh, a lot of um, kind of pink stuff. Uh, it had some fantastically useful tips before it was very rapidly taken down. Tips like get smarter, you can track your workouts and reach your fitness goals. This drew an awful lot of uh, angry fire uh, in the blogosphere and to the site itself some rather extreme um, uh, editorial comment before it was taken down. Um, so I enjoyed, uh, I was reading a lot of these comments. The one that I was a little bit surprised by was this one. I found this extremely helpful, but then I read on. I decided to buy a Mac. Um, so that is not how to do it. Um, last Sunday was, uh, as many of you know, Father's Day, a day when traditionally fathers get to relax uh, and do whatever they want. For some strange reason, that didn't happen in my house, and I was um, strong-armed into watching the movie She's Just Not That Into You. Um, it's a truly remarkable film, um, because it is hard to conceive how you could put that much high-ticket talent into such a low-impact film. Um, there was, however, one scene that I thought was vaguely useful. Oh, hi. He asked me out. Oh, my God. He called. <laughs> well... He emailed. I know. What? He left his calling card with your lady-in-waiting? He MySpaced me. Ouch. Oh. Oh, girl, I don't know about that. My trampy little sister says MySpace is a new booty call. A new booty call. She was really excited. Um, they put us straight. Men and women use the internet differently because men and women are different. Duh. I want to start with men's brains. All right. Now, men's brains are, are very unique. Men's brains are made up of little boxes. And we have a box for everything. We've got a box for the car. We've got a box for the money. We've got a box for the job. We've got a box for you. We've got a box for the kids. We've got a box for your mother somewhere in the basement. We got, we got, we, we got boxes everywhere. A and the rule is, the boxes don't touch. <laughs> when a man discusses a particular subject, we go to that particular box, we pull that box out, we open the box, we discuss only what is in that box. All right? And, and, and then we close the box and put it away being very, very careful not to touch any 
other boxes. <laughs> now, women's brains are very, very different from men's brains. Women's brains are made up of a big ball of wire. <laughs> and everything is connected to everything. <laughs> the money's connected to the car, and the car's connected to your job, and your kids are connected to your mother, and everything's connected to everything. It's just like... It's like the internet superhighway, okay? And, and it's all driven by energy that we call emotion. It's, just, it's, it's one of the reasons why women tend to remember everything. Because if you take an event and you connect it to an emotion, it burns in your memory and you can remember it forever. The same thing happens for men. It just doesn't happen very often because, quite frankly, we don't care. Uh, women tend to care about everything.